Charlie Baker thinks he has the perfect weapon to use against his potential gubernatorial opponent, Democrat Martha Coakley. The pop quiz on Channel 5's Sunday political show, OTR, on the record. Our political reporter, Jenna Wu, tonight says it was one wrong answer that launched the fight. Martha Coakley wasn't doing well on Sunday's pop quiz, but this one, Republicans pounced on. What is the current Massachusetts GAX tax? The gas tax. The percentage on the... Uh, How many cents a gallon? Uh, 10 cents. Uh, 24 cents a gallon. And the state attorney general thinks it's 10 cents. Baker has been campaigning around the state since then, mocking Coakley, pushing the image that she's out of touch with the common voter's life. She gets driven around by a state trooper. Why would she know what the gas tax costs? Coakley's campaign released a statement saying very few people get 100% of the pop quiz questions on OTR correct. Martha knows that the gas tax is a critical funding source to make transportation infrastructure investments. But Baker's attacks began just days after Democrats launched this web video, ridiculing GOP party problems and questioning if Baker was involved in a pay-to-play scheme in New Jersey. Were his campaign contributions to Chris Christie's state party connected to the state pension fund investing millions in General Catalyst, where Baker is a partner? Democrats accuse Baker of trying to distract voters with Coakley's pop quiz fizzle. They'll suggest this is a ruse, this issue, just to draw attention away from that more serious issue. How do you respond to that? Massachusetts voters are now paying 24 cents a gallon for gas. Two tries later. I did nothing wrong. General Catalyst did nothing wrong. Nobody did anything wrong here. And I was completely transparent. But Baker may have had the final word today, commenting on report that Coakley has yet to reimburse the state for the cost of troopers driving her to campaign events. Baker's spokesman said, no wonder she doesn't know much about the gas tax. Janet Wu, WCVB, News Center 5.